today I'm in Providence, Rhode Island, a Sean Suking with Designer Diner. I want to take you through a couple cool places and spaces within downtown and around. So come with me. Providence is actually a really walkable city. You see a lot of the, the riverfront pedestrian areas that are along the, the water. Um, you see a lot of people biking, running, uh, all throughout the seasons in the summer, fall, spring. And it's really nice to engage you with the river. A lot of the activities that go on in the, the riverfront you see uh, in the summer, they have a uh, thing called the fire festival. There's little fire sculptures that go along the river. Um, all throughout downtown, like goes all the way up to the mall, essentially, um, and out here to the pedestrian bridge, which I'll show you in a little bit. You see these gondolas. Are we in Venice or is this uh, Providence? I love the character of this part of the riverfront park. There's a lot of the historic New England materials that you see here, like the brick, you have the stones, and they all engage with the river. You know, I think the point is that you design spaces like this, you wanna bring people down. It's a vital element for trade back then, and now I think it's just a great asset for any city to have. We're walking along the river walk, but the first destination I want to take you through is at the Rhode Island School of Designs campus. There is a museum of art. The museum was completed in 2008 by an architect from Madrid, Spain, Rafael Mondeo. You can see he uses a lot of the, the context that you find in this area with the brick, but then adding a little innovation with uh, some metal looking panels, with modern looking glasses. Really cool building put into context with all the other historic buildings that you see in this area. So can't wait to go in. We're pretty hungry actually. Um, before we take a walk through the museum galleries, we're actually gonna grab a bite here at the, the cafe at the museum and let's see. A little courtyard area, people come, chill, get food. Grabbed a, an avocado toast with some boiled eggs, great for breakfast. Let's give this a try. Nice, warm avocado, really creamy. There's a little taste of spicy in there. Good starter to the day. There's no need to be an art major to enjoy this museum. The RISD Museum has an impressive collection along with a variety of works and artifacts from all over the world that would impress anyone. Different types of media can be seen throughout the spaces like animation, sculptures, and of course paintings. I'm a big fan of Impressionism, so I had to come see the Claude Monet paintings, along with some Cezanne, Picasso, so many here. The details in these pieces you can focus on for a very long time. You can easily spend up to four hours in this museum diving into each artifacts and pieces. Still on uh, RISD's campus. Gorgeous. A lot of these tree lined streets giving you a really homey and cozy feel, especially in the fall season. This is the Providence River Pedestrian Bridge. It's a next level bridge that connects 
two sides of the river together, but it doesn't do just that. It connects two parks. This bridge has so many features, such as the plantings, and theater seating, and a lot of the architectural elements that are here, there's wood, there's metal, creates a really cohesive element that ties the two sides of the river together. exact location there used to be a I-195 highway that runs through and crosses the river just for cars but now this is a pedestrian bridge so you can see that these piers that you see over here they used to be part of the the bridge for the vehicles so they get reused and repurposed for people. On this side of the riverfront park, there is a sustainable feature. Uh, there's this rain garden, and you see a lot of native planting that's here. Looks like they're planting the riverfront edge with a native meadow. The meadows will go a pretty long way in terms of providing a habitat for pollinator species like birds, butterflies, things like that that would make your garden look nice and make this place a more return to the nature. I love the curved geometry of these benches and the seating. They go really well with the gesture of the bridge, the curved bridge, along with some of the, the angles that you have down by the amphitheater. I would say this is a successful example of a good public infrastructure project. Sesame latte. Milky creamy. A lot of sesame as expected. So we're gonna take you to a farm to table restaurant that's focused on seafood in Warren, Rhode Island. Let's go.